So is that a situation then, as you describe it, where you were pretty much told what the changes would be and have to adapt to them in terms of meeting your goals, regardless if they were giving you the proper tools to do so? Yeah, yes. And it's like that for everybody in every department. It's like that for, you know, Jake on Mutt. It's like that for Clint on Gameplay. Uh, I'm sure, you know, Brian Murray and the presentation team feel the same way. There's a million things that each of those groups, including uh, John White and his franchise team, wants to do every year. And every year, everybody wants to be the big major investment, the lead story, because it effectively allows you to get to all the things that you want to get to. Um, but, you know, so there's some competition in terms of like everybody wants to do as much as they can in a given year with limited resources. But usually it's just like one big top down initiative uh, becomes the thing. And that's where most of the resources go. Is it fair to say that what you're describing now almost lends itself to the term we heard Clint use a couple of years ago of ninja ing in features? Is this kind of the behind the scenes of that where you were told? Resources were getting pulled. Allocation was not going to be the same. But you, as a developer, still wanted things in the game and had to find a way to almost sneak them in when you weren't given the opportunities that, say, maybe uh, the long shot program or other programs within Madden were. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the legacy issues list, which is a, a, a thing for the last three years on Madden, came about because Clint and I realized that there was no way that we were going to sell up the chain that we were going to spend a lot of time and resources on fixing bugs because as I, you've heard me say before you can't sell a bug fix i heard that directly from andrew wilson sat me down and said stop pitching me what you're going to fix you can't sell a bug fix and it's true you can't lead your marketing campaign under look at all this stuff we fixed um so what clint and i did is we had to like basically uh, control our, our what we call our scope, our capacity, and uh, basically like almost like if you were doing a budget for your family and you knew you wanted to take a vacation. So you have to shave off a certain amount of your budget because you know that thing is coming. And that's how we tackled legacy issues. We basically hid scope from the back of box features so that we could push some energy and emphasis on towards fixing the top legacy issues from the community the year before. Um, and yeah, that's probably a good example of, it's not a feature, but it's like a ninja initiative that's ongoing to this day. Does it, is it fair to say that from the time you started to the time that you decided you could no longer function in this environment, that you kind of lost the love for Madden or football gaming? I wouldn't say that at all. I'm still, you know a huge NCA fan and I hope it comes back someday. I, I I still enjoy playing Madden. I just not this year for a variety of reasons. Um probably just I needed a break. Uh so I still have love for football and I, I still, you know, if for whatever reason they were to bring me back someday, I'm sure I would fall right back into the groove of going after the things that I wanted to go after. Um so I don't, I wouldn't say I lost the love. It's just like a lot of the the political stuff that goes on there, kind of turned me off to it. You know, I arrived at a time when uh, Madden Ultimate Team had just started and then took off, and that sort of you know was not aligned with a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do or wanted to focus on. But when something's making that much money, uh, you kind of have to buy in. Um, so for a lot of those reasons, it was just bad timing, I think, more than anything else. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say I've lost my love for it. If, if, I, if they brought me back someday, there's a million things I'd love to work on and would be perfectly happy to do it.